welcome to my allotment. It's the middle of September and today I'm going to be planting some savoy cabbages. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so, I'll give you lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year from my home garden, my home kitchen and also my allotment. So I've dug up the rest of my potatoes which were in here. So I bought these cabbages from a garden centre and I've been growing them on a little bit more before I put them out. So if you've not already got some cabbages or some brassicas, a garden centre is a really good way of getting some part grown plants to get you started. So I'm going to be planting these now and I would hope to harvest these in the spring. Now be mindful where you plant them because obviously you will start to be planting stuff in the new year. Now I know that my squashes are going to go here so they don't go until there's no, no chance of frost. So these should be picked by then and even if they're not I could plant either side so I know that planting these here won't get in the way of what I'll be planting next year. So first of all I have dug it over and um, lifted the rest of my potatoes. I've got a guide so I plant in a straight line so you can use a piece of string between two sticks but I often use a bit of board that's quite helpful. When I plant cabbages I plant them about two foot apart the, the rows and then a foot between each cabbage. So that's a general rule of thumb for things like that. So you need a little spade. So that's about a foot and I just dig a hole to sink the cabbages in. Now when you plant cabbages in, you must really firm round around the base of the cabbage and you must um, fill the soil up, you know, quite a way up the neck of it as well. So you want them to be very stable in the ground because that helps them form the cabbage heart. When they flop around, that's when sometimes the heart doesn't form. So what I'll do is I will squeeze my boot around them to firm them in really beautifully. And then of course I will water them. So I've got a dozen to plant here. So I'm gonna plant six in one row and six in the other row. So they're perfectly spread out. So as you can see, I've got my savoy cabbages planted out beautifully. So the next thing I'm going to do is water them in. So obviously give them a really good drink to give them a really good chance to get going. It's been quite dry here. So when you just plant something, you really must water it every two or three days to make sure that it gets off to a really good start. And I probably will give them a little bit of feed with something organic as well. So the other thing you must do is you must cover your brassicas because either the birds or the butterflies or other pests will get it. Now I use hoops because it's quite an easy and simple way to cover my cabbages. And then I'll put some either some fleece or some EnviroMesh over it to protect them. So, and then obviously you won't have to spray them. Now one top tip is before you put the cover on is just to check underneath and on the leaves to check there are no bugs or anything on there. And if there are, just rub them off with your fingers because obviously you've just bought them back you know they might have picked something up in the garden center they might have picked something up in your garden so just check you've not got any bugs on them already and deal with that first so i really hope that that's helped you and if you've got any questions or queries with regards to planting cabbages or any kind of brassicas or let me know what you're planting i'm always pleased to hear from you and we'll do our best to comment as well